Not long ago, Toyota was prosecuted in Norway and other European countries for lying about its cars being electric, or at least about misleading consumers. Now, the truth is Toyota did make some bizarre claims. It said its EVs had all kinds of things, which it didn't. And it also said that its electric cars came with a warranty that wasn't actually legitimate. It also said that its plug-in hybrids or its hybrid cars could run forever, like perpetual motion. Uh, Toyota was forced to cancel those advertising campaigns, but it doesn't seem to have learned its lesson. It's doing the same thing in America. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Toyota is all over the news right now for false electrification claims. Uh, a complaint has been filed against Toyota by the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, basically saying that Toyota is misleading not only consumers, but also investors. I mean, part of this campaign is really to tell investors, oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 we're selling lots of electric cars. Trust us, we're selling billions of them. Um, yeah, a hybrid obviously isn't actually a BEV, a fully electric vehicle. Anyhow, a complaint with the FTC alleges that Toyota is engaging in false and misleading marketing of its vehicles, leading to consumer confusion over how electrified they really are. Part of the problem here, to be honest, in my opinion, let me know if you agree with this statement, people claiming plug-in hybrids and hybrids are EVs. A lot of people do this. It's really confusing. I don't think if you drive around with a vehicle, it has an internal combustion engine, which is probably going to be using most of the time. I don't think it's fair to call that an EV. People do. The media does. People are getting confused. Toyota is sort of capitalizing on this confusion to further misrepresent what they're selling. Last month, Toyota's greenwashing uh, campaign was covered by the media uh, since its new CEO, Koji Sato, took over, there's been this kind of new campaign to trick consumers into thinking they're buying a fully electric car. Public Citizen, the organization that recently aired this story, um, spoke about Toyota's tactics with the US Federal Trade Commission. So the Federal Trade Commission are saying uh, Toyota is doing this intentionally, intentionally deceiving customers or people that it could be potential customers. The FTC has not yet concluded its investigation, I should point out. However, the claims are quite extensive, as in there's quite a serious allegation here being made by the FTC. It shows examples of Toyota using misleading tactics to create confusion about electric cars. And as, as you can see here in this, this advertisement, this screenshot, electrified, diversified. Uh, Toyota essentially putting all these vehicles here in an image to say that they're electric. And there's confusion here. Consum a lot of consumers don't watch YouTube videos that don't do enough research to really understand what's truly going on here. The complaint lays out the argument that Toyota is far behind on EVs, that this threatens its market dominance and consumer loyalty, and that Toyota's response has been to intentionally confuse customers about EVs and hybrids. In Australia, this has happened a lot. Whenever Toyota is asked why it's not making EVs, it doesn't sell any EVs in Australia. It says that it is. It says that it's selling thousands of EVs. It's the number one EV seller in Australia. Um, none of the media here really actually, fortunately, capitalize on this and try to use this. They do in America, but in here in Australia, they don't really. But the, the really here is Australia is saying that they're selling more electrified vehicles than anyone else because they're electrified in some way. But of course, they're just hybrids or plug-in hybrids. So apparently the FTC is saying Toyota is trying to confuse people about the difference between EVs and hybrids and say there's pretty much no difference. It lays out the differences between EVs, hybrids and plug-in hybrids. The FTC describes several aspects of Toyota's marketing of electrified vehicles that have intentionally confused those categories of vehicles. So people are getting their vehicles, they're driving at home and they're telling their friends they bought an electric car. Their friends are going, ah, no, you didn't. You bought a hybrid. And they're like, no, 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 it's an electric car. Anyway, false advertising is hard to prove anywhere. However, the FTC is essentially trying to stop customers from being misled, being confused, being tricked. If a company makes claims that are misleading, then they have to 
essentially they have to stop doing that and often they have to pay a fine. In fact, Toyota was fined in Europe for similar antics about six months ago, I believe it was. Public Citizen says that Toyota's claims are material and deceptive to reasonable consumers. It argues that Toyota is unique in the amount of deceptive marketing it engages in and that it specifically has violated the FTC's green guides, a set of marketing guidelines intended to ensure that companies don't market products as environmentally friendly when they are not. And Toyota believes that we can get to net zero with hybrids. They've made this claim many, many times publicly. Uh, obviously, it's impossible to achieve net zero with a hybrid. It's just not, if, there's no theoretical mathematical possibility of that happening. Toyota obviously pretends that that isn't the case and does market their vehicles as being part of the net zero picture. The complaint includes specific advertisements that Toyota has made uh, saying, Toyota says they're a leader in electric vehicle sales when they're obviously not. They said, number one, images of a hybrid being shocked by a jolt of electricity, despite the fact that conventional hybrids get all of their power from gasoline. So basically Toyota is trying to say, our hybrids are charged through electricity but the hybrids are charged through gasoline or petrol. Number two, images of a gas-powered hybrid driving next to solar panels, which can't charge it. So Toyota is intentionally putting solar panels in this marketing image saying, look, you can charge your EV, your, your hybrid with solar, but you can't. It's just confusing customers. You get home, try to charge it with solar panels and you realize that it's not a plug-in hybrid. It's not an EV. It can't be charged with electricity. Images of vehicles, you know, with solar panels, which make people believe that their vehicle is carbon neutral when they're not. Using the word range to describe how far a hybrid can go on a tank of gas instead of miles per gallon. So they're trying to use EV terminology to trick people into thinking that their hybrid is an EV. A to each their own electric campaign that includes several vehicles that run exclusively on gasoline, saying to each their own electric and obviously their hybrids and gasoline specifically vehicles. And of course, there's the self-charging hybrid. That's a lie that Toyota have advertised a so-called self-charging hybrid vehicle. It charges itself through magic, perpetual hybrid machine, perpetual motion machine. It was completely fake. In Norway, those advertisements were banned and Toyota, I believe, was actually fined for those claims. The biggest number of complaints apparently have been from Toyota using the word electrified, which has been used as a kind of a word by several manufacturers to claim that their vehicles are electric when they're hybrids. And they're not really capable of what Toyota is claiming they are capable of. Here's one thing Toyota is also under fire for saying. It claims that it offers more electrified vehicles than any other brand. But in most countries worldwide, Toyota doesn't sell any EVs at all, none, as in zero. And you might be thinking, well, you know, that's not so bad. Plug-in hybrids, they can run on, and Toyota does sell some plug-in hybrids, not in many countries, but they do sell some. You might be thinking, well, at least those can run on electricity, and that's true. But we know from thousands and thousands of customers in Europe that very few customers actually use them as EVs. They generally just fill them up with gasoline and petrol, which is the reason why subsidies for plug-in hybrids in Europe have been cancelled, because no one was using them as EVs. So it's worth considering that as well. The complaint says these violations and a number of others made by Toyota are harmful to EVs. They're misleading and they're deceptive. Now, whether or not Toyota are able to get around this and the FTC takes this seriously, I don't know. But I think the damage is done. A lot of people have been tricked. But at the same time, you can help here. You can tell people Toyota's vehicles aren't EVs unless they're the BZ4X and there's not many of those in the world. You can help educate people on what really is the difference between a fully electric car and a hybrid or a plug-in hybrid. And let me know what your thoughts are on this, guys. I personally really dislike this kind of very clear, intentional misleading of consumers. A lot of consumers really don't understand the differences, which is understandable. There's a lot of different cars out there. There's a lot of different types of technology. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.